friends. So uh, today's project is replacing this cat door that's in my window. So this started off as uh, I was fostering a cat and I put in a cheap cat door because I didn't know how long she was going to be around. Yeah, that was three years ago. And uh, my friend was going to ditch her at the SPCA and I said, no, you're not. I'll just take her and she can just be an indoor outdoor cat. This was originally put in so she could get in during the winter. Um, and you know, really should have been called a cat starter kit because now I have three of them. So anyway, yep, there's one now. Uh, I don't know which one this is. Yeah, that looks like uh, Squeaky. Uh, there's another one that looks just like him. He has white whiskers, and I have to look at the whiskers to tell him apart. Anyway, so the problem is a neighboring cat um, broke this, and when I bought one, I, I bought another door. These are cheap, and it cracked when I put it in. So we're going to take it out and throw it away. And I bought this on Amazon, and this one is Lexan, and it's unbreakable with a lifetime warranty. I promise, my three cats and the neighbor's cats will figure this out. So one of the things I did wrong is I didn't, I didn't fit this tight enough last time, so I'm going to do a better job with that. So we're going to start here, and I'm going to get this out. put litter in its place and I'll be right back. Now, I know what you're thinking, you're kind of laughing at this. I bought this little vacuum to pick up um, kitty litter and it actually has an attachment. It's been a fantastic little vacuum. First, we need to measure this more accurately than we did last time. Looks like 34 and a quarter. So, First things first, we need to mark the plywood. I got the measurement wrong, and this is Fluffy, that's the other black cat. Alright, so, double check we're not going to cut this table. This saw is a little underpowered for this task, and it's got a dull blade, but it still works. <laughs>
the DeWalt cordless saw is actually good for. All right, so next I want to actually see if it fits. It fits, but it's a little looser than I'd like. So what I'm eventually gonna do is cut a wedge to go in here, and then that'll make it nice and secure. So I went ahead and cut one and filed this under abusive tools. I'm just gonna, no, oh, that's not big enough, so cut another one. All right, so these are the outside edges, so I'm gonna mark it with a center punch here. Uh, bit, and I've got a decent bit here. That's why I couldn't find them because they're over here. Make sure you. Need to cut that out. Let me go find a jigsaw. You know, this would be a lot more accurate with lines. put some uh, sealant around that.
So what we're really doing here is just screwing this together to, to hold the cat door together. So all that's going to hold this in is the caulk. So we'll just have to give that some time to dry, um, and then we'll put it in. So the caulk is dried, and I've got some unhappy cats. I've got two of them outside that are really unhappy that they're outside, and I've got one inside that's not happy about being inside. So we're going to go ahead and put this in. So there's one unhappy cat, and the other's over there. So first things first, let's open the window. And, yeah, he's never seen the window open, so he decided, yeah, it's not for him. So we're going to put this in. And then that's the more sheltered side, so I'm going to actually put the wedge in over there. And uh, he's not going to take very long with it, because he wants out. I might go over it. Yeah, I think he's headed over it. But, you know, he'll just, that's, there he goes. Yeah, not ready for that. So we're just gonna slide, I've cut a wedge in here, and it is just the right size that when it gets down in here, actually, I want it a little bit wider, so I'm gonna make it just a hair wider, I'll be right back. All right, so I've made two of these, and, um, I'm going to get the camera a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm sorry, I'm not usually real good about that. So, what this is going to, how this is going to work is, one of these is going to go down here at the bottom. And then the other is going to go in at the top. And the goal is to keep this from rattling and to keep it secure. And... Gonna need to drive it in here a little bit, so let me just pick this up. There we go. So I just I want that to be solid, and let me go shut it from the other side. So that wraps up that project. It took the better part of a day. Uh, this is all that's holding it in. I don't think it's going to hold it in for long, so I'll probably have to do something with it at some point. Uh, may end up putting screws through it. But there we go. Kitty can come and go. And uh, that's the whole project. Hope you enjoyed.